All right, let's make sure that everything is on. Everything is on. Make sure this is moving. Hello, everyone. My name's Caden, and welcome back to more... Er, the Messenger. What also... I don't know. I, I hesitate to say final, but maybe? Y'all know in the future. But anyways, last time, uh, did a lot of stuff, so, uh, got a lot of stuff, we're getting, got a lot of the power seals now, so, yeah. So what exactly left? So, okay, first off, uh, rock, okay, no, wait, first off I want to check how many more is left of each thing, so, of the power seals, I should say. Got all the ones in all of these areas. I don't have any from the Forlorn Temple, and if I go into the... If I go in here, how many left? Five. And I've gotten all the upgrades, too, now. So that's nice. So we need five more, meaning there is another area that I haven't seen yet. Now, the question is... I guess... Here's the thing, there's two things we can do. The wind chills the bones. The wind chills the bones. The brave monk has a symbol but born final role to play. That has to be talking about glacial peaks, right? I also need to make sure I can remember controls. I would assume it's talking about glacial peaks. Because it's it said the, where the wind chills or whatever, right? Where the wind chills the bones. That would surely mean glacial peaks, right? Oh, wait, maybe it's that. Maybe it's uh Manfred. Maybe it's asking about go to Manfred. Let's go check out Manfred then. Ow. I guess I should also. Uh, sorry I didn't stream uh, last time. Uh. I just wanted a break and then college got in the way, so. One thing I want to mention is I think I know what playthrough I'm going to do next, or at least wanting to do next. Uh, Yakuza. I want to try and play it through Yakuza. Now, I have tried playing through that in the past, some might know. But, uh, let's just say difficulties arose and I couldn't. Because the game refused to work. But... Uh, I think I might have figured out what the issue- like, I might have figured out a way of fixing the issue now. I think I- I think I actually fixed it a while ago, I just hadn't checked yet. Because I know I- I know I changed the thing that made it, like, not work. It was doing something like weird screen tearing kind of thing or whatever. I don't know, it was weird. But... Hopefully. Oh, crap. I should not survive that! Oh. Oh. Ooh. Wait! Ah. Why is it going backwards so hard? I was further away from the safe point than I really was. What am I doing? Why am I? I need to. I need to get my. I need to focus again. I am screwing sideways. Hang on. One, two, three. Ah! Wait, what am I doing? I don't even need to do this. I truly am being foolish. I can just do this. Itch. I'll have damage through. No, I won't. I actually didn't know if I would survive that. I got so. Ah! All right, we're close. 
Ach, Mist. I at least hope that this is the right area. I would assume it is, right? Spot close, I know that. Excuse you. <gasps> the pain is severe. Hey. Aha, I knew it. So, she talked to the prophet? Yes. Seems you have a real shot breaking the curse in our world. So you used to be a messenger too. Indeed, my power is to travel back to the past, whereas you, whereas, whereas you it seems can travel into the future. And if the prophet is right, you'll be needing this to save a friend. Ah! Farewell, Ninja. We are all counting on you. Thanks. So now, if I go into the future, he's gonna be able to break free, because that'll probably warm him up now. Warm up his icy prison. Hey, buddy! Manfred! You're free! A uh, bit of a rough landing, but... Hey, you're alright. That's it. Feels great to be able to move again. I bet. You're yeah, free in this world, sir. Alright, we have the environment safe. Are you ready to go to the elemental sky moves? Yes, I am. This is probably where one of the notes is then, right? The Skyland! And this is probably the last area that has power seals, isn't it? So I'm not gonna lie to you, buddy, this is bad. What's going on? Seems like the Demon King managed to corrupt the Clockwork Concierge. Clockwork Concierge? A uh, big robot attends this place. He's a built butler superstar, and I, I can't wait to meet him. Anyway, I was going to handle this myself, but the Skylands make the robot invincible. Where do I come in? I'll drop you on into the Skylands so you can disable the shield generators, and together we'll see how big a punch the clockwork concierge packs. Alright, enemies add, mass X to five, you can also charge a big one. Gotcha. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. Bro, his eyes glow in fire, too. Oh, boy. No! Oi, we made it to the air skyland. I'll catch you after you disable the shield there. Good luck! Yep, ML Skyland in three. Yep, so we know where the last five are. Hey, buddy! You got anything new to say? Current area. Congratulations, you're the first measure to venture into the Elemental Skylands. Any idea what the deal is out of there? From what I heard, the Skylands regulate the climate. And there's a big robot in charge of, in charge called the Clockwork Concierge. Okay, yeah, I just told you that. A talking sky servant called Manfred. Okay. It's true! Of course it is. I'm not related to it. There's less oxygen on higher altitudes, so you might want to be careful. Are you trying to tell me that I'm going insane? Because <laughs> you're probably right. Anyways, can I actually see where the oh? Uh, whoa, I can actually see quite far ahead. What the heck? Well, I see two. There's three. Okay, I see all. I see the location of all three. One is close. Uh, 
Uh, okay, that was dumb on my part. What am I doing? I don't even have a good answer for that one, honestly. Oh, woo! I don't really even need... Like, I doubt there's gonna... Like, there can't be too many other, like, hidden things that would be that hard to figure out, I'd imagine. Oh! Okay, I was really confused for a second there. There can't be that many other things that are like... Oh, I need to keep going up. That require, like, like, hints. Like, I should be able to figure out the rest of stuff going forward, I feel like. Uh, this is not a way to go, actually. I thought it was. Served me right. Arm it! I'm vulnerable! Okay, it doesn't look like I have to- I must be able to come back in here. Ah! There we go. That must be one of the generators then. I actually managed to thread the gap there. I saw it. Well, I saw something. It's right here, isn't it? Yep, see it. Easy. I still sort of got it. We'll go with sort of. I want to claim supremacy. All right, that's one down. The next one's probably gonna we're probably gonna need to go back on Manfred to ex to get to another one though. I imagine. There's gonna be some of those. Yep, have a feeling. Predictable. Where are you going here? Down I go. Uh, oh, thank you, Manfred. Keep her going. I can't get that one. Huh? There's so many. Uh oh, owie. Howie Zowie! Holy crap! Move! Ah! Oh! Why are there so many cannons? Skylands here. Contractors disable the seal there. Good luck. All right, buddy. Earth Skyland. Oh, we're going back. Back. I don't really need those time shards that badly. Okay, I got real scared there because I for some reason forgot about the vulnerability. Oh, interesting. Okay. What's this gonna change? Ugh. Uh, you think? 
No, I can't get up there. I have to get up there a different way then. But, with this, I should be able to go down. Ah. I don't really need it. As far as I can tell, there's no other reason for me to have, uh, time shards. I mean, why would I get them? I've already got everything. I hints? Okay, I mean, I'll probably only need really one hint, I'd imagine. Ah. Ooh. Oh, there's this thing. Oh, that actually, the, the tabby boots actually work on those. Interesting. Good to know, though. Hello. No. Can go down. Here we are. Ow. Got it. All right, that's another one down. Some amount more to go. Manfred, collect me! We ride! Oh boy. Ooh, we're in danger zone now, aren't we? Oh, I can actually destroy those. I didn't think I could. I didn't bother because I didn't think I could. I just figured they were immortal for some reason. Probably other shoot 'em up games that made me think that. I feel like in other shoot 'em ups, those would be immortal. I wonder if it's actually possible to kill everything, or if it's just flat out impossible because there's simply too much. You don't think they put like? You don't think they put something like a? Uh... Like one of those power seals in this flying section, right? I don't think they could. Ow! Mars got us next! I'll catch you up if you disable the knight the shield. Alright. Water up next, then. It's in here somewhere. Well, that's easy. That one I can get. Oh, that one's gonna be... Ooh, that one's gonna be spicy, don't you thinky? Well, this one's gonna be a real pain in the ass. Oh, got it. Hey, hey, hey. Not too shabby, though. Let's get out of here. Once the, nah, I was wondering maybe I should go back and save. I don't think that's a requirement. At least I'd hope not. Bruh. Got you. Would you cut that out? Ugh. 
Where's the last one again? It's further in, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't... Game? Play, make me play a risky game. Wait, this isn't the right- wait, where else is the right way to go, then? I mean, I take it, but where am I supposed to- oh, oh. I was about to say, like, how? Wait, actually, yeah, how, indeed. Mother- I had it right the original time, I think. I did. Bruh. Might die here. I can see happening. Time shorts, though. Imagine if I came here earlier. Oh, imagine if I could. Fire Skyland's up. Catch up after you disable the shield generator. Good luck! Oh, what are you- You son of a- <laughs> What? What? You saw that! What was that? He dropped me to my- Manfred, you son of a- Oh, Manfred! Manfred! What was it? Okay, note to self, when we get to that point, hold right. Because Manfred will betray you. Manfred is apparently willing to betray for I, what reason? I don't know. But what was that? Come on, man. I, I thought that was intentional at first. I was like, hmm, interesting. So we're not going straight there, are we? <laughs> and then I just see death and it's just like, come on, man. Manfred, I swear to God, don't do this again, please. Manfred, if you kill me, I'm going to be very sad. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Hi. All right, last one's in here. See what I mean?
Oh yeah, yeah. All right, that's all of them in the Elmel Skylands. All that leaves left is the Forgotten Temple. At least I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Uh, wait. What's the button to hold down again? Did I hold the wrong button? Wait. What's the hold down button again? It's right trigger. Whoops. <gasps> okay, that was my fault. I completely forgot the controls. I don't have to collect the thing again, do I? Okay, I don't. I was about to say... Yeah, I don't. Okay, it's right trigger. Oh, hey! Actually, please don't, uh... Please! Alright. boss. I feel like there's a boss. You're not gonna say it. All right, man, Fred. Is it time for the robot? See o'clock for concierge. Here goes nothing. Love him. Uh, the gentlemanly one. Oh, I'm not as happy anymore. I am now instead filled with anxieties. All right, cannons now. Thank you. Seems like the best strategy is to don't keep shooting down charge shot. Get him! Thanks, Manfred. Goes the clockwork con concierge. Hey. hey, welcome back. Who are you people? Where's my house? Nice to meet you, clockwork concierge. I'm a huge fan. Yes, it's unacceptable. How do you get back to my skylands presently? Come on, Jill. We just snapped you out of a demon spell. Is that so? It would be rude of me to let such a deed go unrewarded. Oh, I'll agree to that. As I spent countless centuries in perfect harmony while carrying to the intricate balance of the unique sky of the Skylands, my core materialized a very unique piece. Acknowledging how deeply your cooperation has touched my metaphorical heart, I would like to you to offer it to you. Aha. Another note. <laughs> There we go. Another note down. The key of symbiosis. 
Nurtured in the clockwork concierge's core across centuries of perfect harmony with the element. Uh, elements it is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. Oh, thanks, clockwork concierge. Now I have much work to do. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, yes. It's just... Why is it? You always wanted to be a butler. You're his hero. Uh, not cool. Is that so? What is your name, brave sky serpent? Manfred. Manfred, huh? Yes, I believe that will do. Really? Yes, you have the perfect name for an apprentice. Apprentice. No way. This is awesome. Now, I should get back to my task. Come back to me when your quest is over. That's it. I'll be back. And I promise to work super hard. Yes, I believe we will first address your vocabulary. Farewell for now, Manfred, and good luck, messenger. Whee! All right. And we're back. Well, that happened. Manfred and the messenger saved the world. Can you believe it? Yeah, that's quite the adventure. You know, this is over. That no low is totally worth a second place if you ask me. Anyway, I should get back to flying. Take care, buddy. Thank you. All right. So, where humanity used to stand strong, little carpenter shall create the path to revenge long overdue. Yep. Seems like there's only one spot left to go to. It's the Pagan Temple now. Get me out of here! Two more power seals. Now, before I head over there... Get another note. One more music note. Humanity used to stand strong. Well, there's only one place. And the carpenter thing gives it away. Now, what's the quickest way to here, also? Ooh. wonder if it actually goes up that high. Jeez, the Pete's. Uh, regardless. Uh, quickest way would seem to be... I guess just go to Autumn Hill, really. That's, all, that's really the only real way I can get there, I feel. All right, onwards to the Forgotten Temple. This does not bode where well. Also, I have le I have le amount of time shards. Nice. That doesn't bode well. <laughs> Let's just ignore that for now. It'll be fine. Brother. <gasps> Wait, can I not bounce off you or what's going on? I feel like I'm glitching here. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I couldn't get the controls right for some reason. Something just felt wrong for a second there. I don't know what, but something. I don't know how I managed to actually scrape that by, but nice. Whee! 
going. Almost there. I'm going the wrong way. cool i just hit i just hit like the jump in a uh, grapple button at the same time all right finally about time after so long and after seeing it for so long I can finally enter the final area here anything to say for yourselves no actually you don't Bridge is repaired, can you believe it? You're so proud. Before we go down that way. No. Alrighty. Here we go. The Forlorn Temple. For real this time. You ain't got anything to say? Nothing to say for yourself. Oh, this is... What? <laughs> so many blocks? use this as a swapping point. I was about to say, like, what the hell are you expecting, man? That's supposed to be a swapping point. That's what it is. Well, this is funny. Question, what if I try it? Stop it. All these projectiles screw my vibe. Now, what if I try going forward with, uh, this time? That explains a lot. Would you cut it? Oh. Stop it! So it's actually mandatory that you have to go down that way. Hold on. I'm gonna wash this first.
I think that's possible to make. Okay, I don't have to worry about you anymore, thankfully. There's no way I can make that. But there's something that happens when I do this. It screws it up. But, I'm gonna be honest with you, it really does just make it significantly worse. This doesn't help me. Uh, yeah, because it just early crushes me then. I didn't think I would make it. I didn't think I would live. No, you are not living. I don't care. That's not going to stay closed forever, yeah. Oh, but it just alternates now. Wait, 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 we're going to, w well, there's still no, never mind. I think we're still good. Control that. Useful to know. Hmm. Let me on. Whee! Ow. Let me on. Whee! Still feels like we're feels like we're further. Oh my. I feel like the music is John just as confused as I have. Oh, this is awful. Wait, how the hell? I actually count as never mind. Oh, there is a way of getting down, but oh. uh hold on a second. Oh. Uh, what the heck was that? Well, now I'm getting paranoid. Oh, I know what that was. Wait, there's too much happening. Too much for my mind to process at once. Ugh, sorry. A lot just suddenly, ah? Uh, 
Ah, I see. Not too bad. Uh. Scary's. That was easy. Alright. I can't imagine these ones will go easily, considering they're the last ones, but... Ah! Oh! Help! What was I supposed to do there? Suffer? Will that close eventually? Question. Gamble and a half, it felt like. Ugh. Right, it's a little broken, but we got it. Got it. All right, that just leaves a singular one left. There's just one more to work with. Yeah, I realize a little. I'm damaging through it. Okay, I never got that save. If I had died, I would have... Oh, God. I'm only now realizing my mistakes. Holy crap. I would have been so angry myself at that realization. I was wrong to do that. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'll take it. Hang on. Ah, I'm trying to get comfy! Supply ah. check. Good thing I checked. The game is caring on what time it is for me, time period I'm choosing. Oh wait, wait!
Did I get the save point? I for some reason didn't know if I got the save point. Okay. There's for some re- Oh wait, no, there's only one path. Up we go! We're gonna be here a while. I ain't no rocket scientist. Ah! Oh, this one's just evil. feel about this one, Chief. Do I have to hurry back? all of them. Every single power seal collected. Oh, all right. I got it. What is this? The windmill shuriken. Avoid catching it to it to maximize duration. Oh, you can re Oh. This one recharges? Interesting. Huh. But it doesn't go as far. So I don't need to worry about it, but... It won't help me as well. Interesting. Vanilla, thank you for the follow-up. You enjoy the streams. Uh, oh, up here. Interesting upgrade. Ooh, boy. Wait. Wait, you can't... Oof. I mean, I just damaged through it, but hey, it works. Well, I'm at least glad I got every single one of those. Quite an interesting different playstyle. Every hit of the windmill shirt can come to the sword gate. You can jump at it after that. Really? Interesting. They're overpowered. So hang on. Interesting, yeah, you're right. That is really cool. And yeah, I can see how that could possibly be overpowered. Ooh boy. been loving the game so far. It's been really fun. <laughs> Challenging, but I like it. Okay.
Well, power through it. Power. Almost at it. Oh, I actually. Woo. Ooh, is this boss time? Anything to save me, shop? Oh, you do. Oh, this is it. This is what? Your shot taking down the Demon King. I feel ready. Do you intend to play CS Stars after that? I actually already have. It's on my uh, on my YouTube channel. I actually have a, the playthrough of that. I played that before this game, actually. Because I didn't realize it would actually be, like, continuation, but... If you look on the YouTube side of things, there is, I do have a playthrough for CS Stars already. Feel ready. Hope you are. Lost too many messengers to him already. Good luck. Alright. Here we go. Ah, oh, the worm has come to play. Barmethazel. Barmethazel. He can't help you anymore. What? Impossible. What's wrong? Is the king afraid of having to do something himself? Enough! You pay for your insolence. Prepare to die, ninja. Let's go, buddy. I had a feeling. Oh, you just... Oh, I can just aim these at him. Okay. Send it! Come here, buddy! The other shurikens, I'm pretty sure, are still, like, up in the sky. <laughs> they are! <laughs> up. I keep getting hit. That actually still hurt, though. Oh god, now's not the time alarm. Uh, what the heck? Wait! Are you? Are you the Dweller of Strife? Come here. Actually, now I think about it, that makes sense because of all the heads. Where are you? So this is where you went after Sea of Stars. Oh. We are going high up now. Aha! That poor has got the four followers, yeah. That's right. Well, there they go. All that's left is a crown now. My crown now. The Demon King's crown. And Brew Games come in Barth's arm with the cell. Yeah, I did think that was also cool. 
You guys are Demon King's crown. Maybe one of those blue rubs will know what to make of it. This change this changes nothing, Ninja. The spell on this music box is still going strong. The curse will endure, your world will fall. Okay. Well. Uh, wait. Oh, I was about to say, how do I get out of here? So where is this taking me? Oh! Back to bamboo. Oh, now I finally got that exit. Alright, back to shopkeeps. That is really cool seeing how that... How, uh... The, that's what happened to both Brugave and the, uh... Dweller Strive. <laughs> So I think that does mean I got it wrong before where I thought- I thought originally what happened to Dweller Strife was it became that World Eater, is what I thought when I was playing Sea of Stars, but I guess not. That just leaves the question of who the heck is that World Eater then at the end? I wonder if they'll make another game relating to that thing. I don't know. Uh, I guess I gotta take this to profit. Oh wait! I know! This one guy kept mentioning about a demon- a demonic relic. This'll do, right? There we go. The abyss stares at you. Stare back? Why not? What is this place? I sense some of my sisters hiding in fear. I'll call out to them. They can help you cross this infected realm. Hmm. Corrupted future? Ooh, wait, ooh. Huh. Oh, this is funky. What the heck? Ooh! Huh. In here I thought the final boss would have been the demon and king. I guess the water strife, but... You're free now! Yeah, I can. Got very concerned for a second there. Oh, good. Where are you taking me, fairy? Woo! Man, this future got real screwed up. Everything's made of, like... Don't know what just killed me. Uh, I had full health and then I died. Okay. Don't know what happened there. That was weird. I feel like that was a glitch. Okay. That was weird. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll see if it ha we'll see if it happens again. Well, thankfully, I don't have to free the uh, these guys again. Let's try staying away from the left edge because that's what killed me. Oh, nope, don't want to go that way. something I'm missing. Is there another path this way? Yes, there is, actually. Just let me go on by. There we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go.
This is still really weird. <laughs> cool, but weird. At least there's no more uh, power steals that I have to worry about up checking for anymore. To the right. So now I'm wondering if the final boss is going to be... Uh, whoop! Well, looks like a few tries to beat. Thank you. Hey, luck. Thank you. Thank you for the good luck. Let's see how I do. <laughs> Let's just hope that I don't have any more deaths like that uh, earlier one that I don't have any idea how happened. Oh, hey. Hmm. Huh? The key of courage. Appearing only for the for the one who would venture into the biggest unknown it is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. Eh? Uh, uh-oh. Uh, what is that? Oh! Hi! Ah! Uh, okay! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Ouch! Ow! Ow! Wait! <laughs> right. Out of the Never again. <laughs> Thanks. My goodness. This is trouble. Where did you find? What did you find? An abomination I can't describe with words. Sick. Anything else? I found all the music notes. Yes. I knew it. You know what this means? I guess we're one step closer to lifting the curse. Uh, and the shopkeeper has to do the dishes for a whole week. I want my pet! Thanks! <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Yeah, that was... that was stressful. Well... That means... all ma music notes have been gathered. <laughs> Ahem! At long last, the melody is complete! Okay, what's next? Hey, goodbye now. What? My knowledge is limited to the prophecy, which ends with the gathering of all music notes. Well, someone here has to know. Indeed, my messenger. It is time for the first of our order to share with you the origins of the curse. Be right back. Eh? <sighs> this, better, this better be important. Behold, the melody is complete. Impossible. Could we finally be near in the end? I complete the melody. Do you know what to do next? Well, I guess it's only fair. Okay, I officially forgive you if for saying my shop doesn't didn't look like a shop. What? When we first met, I was really happy to show you the place, and then you said it didn't look like a shop. Have you been bitter all this time? I was just trying to do small talk. Sure, whatever. That's what I that's behind us now. Seeing how much progress you made, it's all about it's about the time I filled you on what it is what is really going on. Here we go. Eh? What's that? Eons ago, the civilization of giants lived in the clouds, protecting the world from unknown forces. This 
sky giants, yeah. Centuries went by in harmony, until one day they watched helplessly as the world suffered a massive flood. Mm -hmm. They did say that there would be a massive flood coming in Sea of Stars. Only a single piece of land remained. Ever adapted, Manny gathered survivors and built a huge temple, where they would try to find new meaning. Answering the call of these troubled times, a formidable couple stepped up to be their leader. <laughs> Gives it with a beautiful voice and otherworldly ability to create mesmerizing trinkets. Everyone called her Muse. And he, ever stoic. Fearless and mysterious would become known as Phantom. After a decade of relative stability, the skies began flashing red, as if a war was being waged against the Sky Giants. Oh, indeed, an army of demons, destroyers of worlds, had found the human realm. With humanity's protector soon to be extinct, Muse and Phantom inspired everyone to prepare for the inevitable onslaught. The demon army was too strong. The temple was lost and Muse was killed while trying to protect her people. Mm -hmm. Fighting back tears, Phantom picked up her final creation to keep him as a memento, a music box. Banning the temple to the Demon King, he led the last survivors of his race to the western edge of the island. That final stand proved successful, and after instructing his people to rebuild and stay hidden, Phantom pushed his luck. Pushed his luck, you say? Lion by rage, he departed towards the temple in a foolish attempt to take down the Demon King. Mm -hmm. Insulted by the boldness of this broken being, the Demon King opted for a punishment worse than death. Corrupting his love's memento with demon magic, he turned Phantom's music box into a tether to the human realm. Hmm. Every 500 years, they would come back to torture humanity until they abandoned all hope and surrendered to extinction. Phantom was forced to wear a cursed mask, which would steal his mind and keep him in a state of perpetual distress. Hmm. Insert into the music box, he would play the organ in forever to keep the relic's magic alive. In this both mental and physical prison, he would be the one to ensure the curse on hi his legacy was maintained. Phantom's will was a strong one, offering lapses of sanity where he could tap into his growing understanding of demon magic. The fight to get rid of the curse would last centuries, so his people would need the ability to cooperate across generations. And that's the messenger, right? Time travel was the key. 
With his last stretch of sanity, he wrote a scroll, imbuing it with enough power to attune its character to time magic. Before losing his mind completely, he teleported his final hope, a scroll, to his people's spot hideout. As they soon realized, the scroll let them see strange manifestations, things not every mind could, under could stand. Only a few brave adventurers had a strong enough will to carry the scroll. They called them messengers. With the ability to step through space-time time terrors, they had access to the Void, a safe haven outside of time. Messengers from all time periods would soon gather there, the perfect meeting point for their endless war. Turned out, meeting dozens of the future, or even one's alternate self, could be troubling for some. After a few incidents of more primitive messengers going into shock, they opted to conceal their appearance. I see. And that's the Blue Rose. Thus, the Order of the Blue Robes was founded, and together they built their headquarters, the Tower of Time. Every curse cycle would have its champion, who would join the Order after passing the scroll to the next messenger. Four of the Blue Ropes. After many cycles, the music box was reclaimed from the Forlorn Temple. Even though the relic was too powerful to be destroyed, a new hope was found that day. Mysterious forces of the world started materializing in the form of magical music notes. After one particularly gifted messenger managed to gather two of them, an idea emerged. An idea crazy enough that it might just work. They create a melody strong enough to breach the music box's protection spell. Maybe a messenger could enter it and rescue Phantom. And that's where we're at now. So there you have it. I'm not sure what you will find inside the music box, but if yet, if we have one shot at saving Phantom, this is it. Be on your guard. His mind will have conjured all sorts of traps. Good luck out there. Alrighty. The music box beckons. Are you ready to face your last challenge, messenger? Sure. Let's go in. Whee! I'm small. Alrighty. Whoa. The music box. The power of music, the scroll shall meet its maker. All right, here we go. Whoop. Uh, well. That'll, that. Thank you, Warble. That'll teach me to be eager. Let's try and not have that be a uh, sign of things to come. Have all the lore yet? All I, all I gotta do now is save Phantom. Ow! Ooh. 
Oh, get me out of here. Oh. What's this do? Oh, this opens that. You need to stop being so eager. Point though. You got anything to say for me, me, buddy? Yes, you do. Current area. Well, this is it. Is this my last chance to take care of any unfinished business before the big ending? Yeah, it's a frog's ass watertight. I guess so. Precisely. <laughs> yes. Any stories to share? One last walk for the one last for the road, huh? Hi, of course. Here's one for ya. There once was a little boy stuck in a well. It wasn't really clear why he was in there. People assumed he fell while playing, or that someone had pushed him. In truth, he jumped in there himself. This seems familiar. It's been years in the well, wasting away anxiously, feeling utterly inadequate. He had a deep desire to share his ideas with the world, but shame having played with such a big part in his upbringing, his will lay broken. That's why the well suited him so perfectly, a place to hide, where he could be alone with his stories, with no one to mock or judge him. A safe life, unfortunately devoid of purpose, but at least it shielded from rejection. One day, as he was role-playing, a wanderer passing by looked down the well. Hey, what's going on down there? He cast cautiously, intent on joining in on the fun. Oh, nothing. Sorry about the noise, the little boy replied. And thus the well remained silent for weeks. The wanderer, patient and compassionate, sat by the well for all that time. His mind was already made up. He would do whatever it took to get that little boy out of there so that he could share stories with the world. The creative flame in that little boy's heart refused to die, and eventually he started role-playing again. So the wanderer very cautiously started interacting with him again, telling him that his stories were entertaining and nothing to be ashamed of. The friendship built really slowly, based on genuine intentions and trust. A few months later, the wanderer and the little boy were sitting together in the well, laughing and sharing stories. The well became an increase increasingly habitable place, and Bassabot, I started looking in. I think I'm not the only one who would like to hear your stories, the wanderer amused one day. I'm too afraid to climb out, the little boy replied. It's okay, the wanderer reassured him. Let me know when you are ready. Years passed, and the little boy's imagination became more focused, his thoughts and stories shaping into, into a concrete little world. And then one day, he decided to take the chance. He would build this world and show it to everyone. Wanderer helped him, him climb out. Mercy fell up. The little boy shared his idea with us with creators of the old crafts, and to his surprise, they wanted to help build they wanted to help building it. And so the small team was put together, and he officially became a writer. I wish I could tell you it all ended in fame and fortune, but I trust you understand it's not what this whole journey has ever been about anyway. Mercy Sylvain. Mercy Eric. Mercy Martin. Mercy Ma Michael, Mercy Felipe, Mercy Jean Luc, Mercy Carl, Mercy Savannah, Mercy M Magali. Huh. That story sounds vaguely familiar, I feel. I think it might have been something sim- I know that in uh, Sea of Stars, if you could- Because I, I did collect all the, uh... I still have the- I think I still have that video that I haven't posted yet. I did collect all the- The, uh flimsy hammers, and I'm pretty sure you hear a story like this after you collect them all. Like, I'm pretty sure it's something, because like, that feels familiar. I might, I'll have to check that recording, it's probably actually upload it for once, but I feel like that is what it was. Also, I was worried that wasn't going down at all for some reason. Uh, gotta go up. Ooh. It's a fairy tale that illustrates it. Hey, Dad. It's nice. I like it. I just had to remember if it was what I was thinking of. 
What? Oh, that counts as crushing? Well, I thought that would count, but sure. Get out of that little section. Ow. <laughs> they barely move. I was about to say, I can just jump for that. Ow. Ooh. Background's a lot darker in the past. Step at a time, basically. Brother. Ooh, I almost screwed up there. actually. Ooh. Ah. Forgot. I don't have the long jerk in anymore. Yeah, no. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. A lot of checkpoints in those things feels like that. Just a little bit of time. Okay. Okay, how's this? I'm not gonna get healing, am I? Am I? Can you get healing? No. I didn't know if it would be healing, but I... Uh oh, that's a safe one, though. More crush. Ooh. Oh. 
missed so many opportunities to get insta crushed, it feels like. I did not notice at first that there was no floor there, and I was fully prepared to just jump off into my death. <laughs> I made a mistake. Okay. How many is save this instant? <laughs> That'll do. Woo. Wasn't paying attention to the top bar. All right, there we go. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing. There's an easier way about this, I feel. There we go. I just gotta wait for this one. Let me up! I have thought the wall was just going to disappear when I entered that. <laughs> oh, this one looks like... That painful. Oh, never mind. That's fine. Easy. Oh, that was <laughs> one false move, and I die. It feels like. Uh, go back. Go back. Say, what am I doing? There we go. Giant ball. I'm out of here. Uh, I don't want to get squished. Just gotta let this one come back and then we get an easy out. I wonder how, man, I've gotten far, it feels like. Both feels like I've gone far and haven't gone far at all. It's a strange feeling. Oof.
Out of here. I would like that save point, please. quiet oh boy this is it feels like anything any last words friend level boss I think I hear Phantom's tune yes time has come any advice I'm sorry only knows that the curse is very strong within him you need to do this one all on your own Godspeed, messenger. All right, let's do it. Phantom time. Hey there. A visitor? I must be having visions again. Are you okay? I mean no harm. Intentions matter little. My tune must be played. It was fated. <laughs> Who are you? Did you get my message? How dare you trespass here? I'm here to help. You have to. You've been. You've been cursed. Uh, cursed. It's all true, then, isn't it? All of it. But you can end this now. Remove the mask. Preposterous! I shall make short work of you. I'm not your enemy. You created the scroll, didn't you? Impossible. How long has it been? Did someone really get my message? Enough! You will pay for your treachery! Listen to me, Phantom. It took centuries, but humanity never gave up on you. Lies, lies, lies! I'm here to set you free. I shall have none of it! Prepare to die, intruder! Here we go. Alright. Ooh, not what I expected. Uh oh. Huh? Oh crap! Oh, that's weird. Huh. He's gonna keep changing the playing field, is what it seems like. Oh, get me! Oh, I don't know if I can hit that back. I should try. Oh, uh, 3D math! Oh, couldn't reach that. Uh, nope, not getting there. Ooh. Good slow on the uptake. Oh, what the? Ow! Oh, that's fun. That's funky. Switching time. Okay. Uh, uh oh. Gotcha. I should be using these more. Alright. Ah, we missed it. Here he goes. The spin! I'm gonna need another attempt at that. Oh! Oh! That- Oh, that one- I was about to say, how did I get hit? He swapped it. That's why. Alright. Round two. With a tiny bit more of understanding what's going on here.
Ow. Okay, don't know why I turned around. Just staying still will... No, no, it won't. Staying still will not work. So future time is when he's attacking. You gotta remember that for when he pulls the... He does a swap, basically. And the short. Oh! What? Uh oh. Thank you. I. A music box. No. All oh, my memories. My love. This is bad. Let's get out of here. I really, really hope they can make it on. I'm fine. I'd love to finally meet Phantom. I'm so worried right now. What if the shopkeeper doesn't get hit there in time? I I should have gone myself. Hi. <laughs> we made it. It's fine. It's finally over. Oh, it's Phantom! You want to try the tower time challenge I designed? Give him some time. He's had quite a ride. But I've been waiting for this moment ever since I was first given the scroll. And can't you just breathe just this once? What's wrong? Curse. The past energy. I don't want to go back. I can't. Hold this once. Hey, you're safe now. Don't worry. It's here. It wants to take me back. Help. It's back. Yep. There's the mask. Oh, oh, this is bad. As I feared, Phantom is keeping the curse's power contained. How do we stop it? We don't! Its full force has been unleashed. They're fools. That was their plan all along. To let the curse grow in power as we wish an ultimately meaningless battle. Only to annihilate it us completely when we thought we had won. What are you talking about? Surely you won't all give up so easily. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. It's simple. We have to do a thing. The order is down to the three of us. You know, you know we're no match for such a force. Everyone here has been attuned to the scroll, so we should all be able to do a thing. Everyone with me! Oh boy. All right, let's go. Do the thing. Fight. Oh, hey, that's the credits. Huh. <laughs> kind of ended abruptly, just like CS Stars did. Well, then. I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. And I did love seeing a lot of the, uh, the, uh, things from, uh, like seeing how it all connects to CS Stars. And a lot, a lot of certain things make sense. And 
And it's like, where did, like, what happened to both, uh, what happened to Brugaves, what happened to the, the followers and the Dweller of Strife. The existence of Time Shards as well. Uh, ooh. Uh, what else? Uh, it was all just really fun. And, uh, I'm at a film for time. Uh, I mean, I just, I, it was just really cool. Very fun. Un, un, like, plenty of challenge while not feeling, like, unfair. This is really good. I don't really got much else to say. <laughs> Cowboy! Then, wait, I, th I get the feeling this is the main character, so I'm just gonna go. Then the mask was shattered in pieces, and humanity was finally rid of the demon curse. Yeah. Well, talk about a long story. Well, you asked. Anything else I can do to help you with? I don't know. Can't afford any upgrades at the moment. Well, do you have any other stories to share? Of course. Here's one for you. To be continued? Really? I wonder then, I feel like I need to check real quick. Is there, does that mean it's like a new game plus mode unlocked? But hang on, well, let me see this. So, let's look this up. So the messenger grew ending. Probably. Getting a true ending. Uh, complete all the main missions get... Wait. Is this... Wait, what game is this talking about? Is this a different game? This is a different game! What? This ain't the messenger. This is a different game. So wait. Uh, I just, I just need to make sure. Is that to be continued? Uh... Uh, ending. Let's do that. Uh, da -ba -da. uh, I don't think there's anything else as far as I can read, at least. But you know what? Here's something I can do at the very least. I can go into play and in the music box. How about we check out what it says here? Let's see if maybe you've got... Actually, you know what? Oh yeah, there's this. Uh, do you have anything to say? No? No upgrades? But it, there is this. Ah, uh, whoops. I didn't read. I didn't read! What's going on? My voice is a reactor so the portal in our dimension is open. It's fine. Get back to work. I was supposed to be the one opening the portals. I'm telling you, it's fine. Is the messenger leaving for a side adventure? Yes. Do you think he will do the thing? Oh no. Why? Because it's not a real adventure. You don't do the thing. Look, this is a quick trip to the dimension where Bo Bukin Island never merged with our mainland. I'm sure nothing of note will happen. But you better let me know if you do the thing. I won't be there. Okay, fine. Keep me in the loop. Sick. I'll be in the lab. What? Nothing. Well, why don't you go then? It's just for once I want ish to someone. Wish someone said Godspeed, Officer. Come on, we're trying to focus here. Why do you always feel the need to make everything about you? Yeah, I work really hard. But it's always only about you and the prophet. Wait, don't. Am <laughs> you ring? Oh, prophet, can you say Godspeed, officer, just this once, please? I'm sorry, what? Oh, can we just get on with the show already? These two, I swear. Just go, messenger, and don't forget you are entering an alternate reality, which you must prevent at all costs. I'll handle these two. Okay, I don't even know what I do. 
in an alternate timeline far off the coast of Messenger Island. The sun shined bright on tropical Voodkin Island, so the little Obakins decided to have quite the picnic. Saw him. But as fate would have it, Demon General Armathaza um, appeared out of nowhere to cause quite the panic. Taking his hostages deep into Voodkin Island's deadly jungle, he would use them in it for an evil ritual. Only one hero could travel across dimensions to rescue the Fokins and foil Barmathazel's plan. Unless, of course, it was all a trap. Adventure. Elder, I was teleport here, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go. And you, uh, you don't recognize me? I'm part of the clan. Listen, I might be old, but it'll take more than a costume to fool me. I remember every single student. I'm a real ninja. You taught me yourself. Have you been clutched yet? Nice little. I can sense the squirrel's power, which means my time is probably better spent helping rather than questioning. If I told the family evil being came, came in and feast away at the docks for the messenger and said he would have a mutually beneficial offer and I suggest you head for the docks now. Again, we're very well versed in the prophecy and knowledge of scroll. I need a way of disguise next time. Okay. There's still a spot for an item, it seems. Anyway, is the dock to say? Village. Oh, I like how that fits up. I like how that looks up there. That's cool. Ninja. I didn't even am really bothered. I, well, I kind of mashed through on accident. So I don't even know what this is supposed to be about. Well, I mean, aside from a little side story at the beginning. Uh, you! Hey! I'm telling you, hype makes right. The messenger will before, bow before the mighty Ruxton. Ahem. Oi. The messenger has arrived. Oh, great. Just where you think you have plenty of time left to practice your spooky flight intro. I guess I'll just come down and watch this. <laughs> nice pants, bro. <gasps> and so, great mess. The messenger seeks the aid of Ruxton the Great. I do? Well, aren't, aren't you trying to get to Bo Bootkin Island? Yeah, apparently some Bootkins have been captured. And how do you suppose you will get there? I was thinking of calling my buddy Manfred to fly me. Ruin his internship with the Cloud Clockwork cl on the edge? That's not what buddies do. I have you cornered. Bow before me and acknowledge my superior height. Then I will take you there on my skull mount. Um. Uh. No! What was that? Well, this is embarrassing. Look, I... I have a date tomorrow. Can you help me get my stilts back? I'll take you to Vukin Island afterwards, I promise. Sure. All right! Come on! All righty, then. Let's go. <laughs> yeah! Weather's perfect. Weather's perfect. Want to teach you how to surf? Sure do. All right, first rule surfing, avoid rocks at all costs. Who's up? Who's the left stick to move down one lane? Sometimes avoiding rock means jumping over it. Press A to jump now. Gnarly! Okay, last thing is a necro boost, which has a no cost or cooldown. Press X to use necro boost. Not too impressive, right? Here's the kicker. Necro boost is maintained when it feeds off enemies and debris. Press X to use Necro Boost now! Ah! Necro Boost will cancel if you hit a rock, though. You can still change length and jumble boosting. Press L now! Don't forget to avoid rocks and keep feeding the Necro Boost if you want to match my speed. Good luck, it. I'll let you drive now. Time to shoot the curl! Oh, 
Alright. No. Whee! Oh. Keep going. Uh, itchy. Just keep going. Now. 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 Oh, that was a healing thing. Good thing I grabbed it then. There's a leaf! Give me that leaf! Ow. Ow. What is going on? these uh, feathers or whatever they're doing. How far away is this island, man? Ow. Keep her going. <laughs> Ow. Well, that hurts. Hey, hey, hey. All right, Leah, let's shut Squeeze Boss. Oh, here we go. Hey there, buddy. Those of you know how we're fighting. Ah, that's how. I see. Punch. Uh, hello. Ow. Uh, mine. Whoa! Now we're going fast. Oh, you can actually hit the back. Ah! That's what you want, game. Punch you. Uh, where'd you go? Hey! Rock! those the pain is immense <laughs> come on I don't know how much longer I can go man <laughs> Not good. Not good at all.
I'm scared. Well, that was inevitable. All right, round two. This time, knowing a slight bit more what I'm doing. Keep her going! Come here! Ow! All you got. I can never get the full thing. I always miss one. I, mean, I think I have to get all of them if I want to beat this thing. But for the life of me, I can't. Right side that I can pretty much avoid everything else mostly fine at this point. But at this rate, this ain't ever going in. About time. <laughs> Enough! Give them back! Why are you telling me wrong, Rux Dicks? I won't talk. I just want my stilts. We miss you. I want you visit. Stop it! You're not my mom! Rux Dad! <laughs> Wait, what? Your mother? It off you guard. Yes. I don't understand him anymore. I thought the Necromatch thing was just a phase, but it's been too long now. I feel responsible. He should never have told me he was adopted. Don't cry, Octo. I miss him, Pi. You know I miss him too. Oh, I know I'll cheer you up. And good touch. And the good touch. I love you, Pi. I love you too, Octo. Come here. Heart. The messenger will play right into my hand. And once the magic seed is imbued with voodoo magic energy, I'll be one step closer at getting my revenge. So naive and predictable, I bet he's already on his way to save these useless creatures. Ah, I knew it. 
time to hide for now. Welcome to the tropics. Can you, can you turn around for a second? Please. Growth. <laughs> Much better. I'll let you get on with it. Come see me if you want to go surfing again. What's on myself? Hey. Hey. All right. Uh, ooh, there actually is some sort of collectible here. There's actually a couple types here. Interesting. This is not at all what I expected. Hey, you're here. Uh, whoa. Go back to your timeline. Acquire items will be safe, but you'll need to restart at the beginning of the level next time. No, I'm good. Ah, uh, the messenger. He's expecting you a bit sooner. Yeah, like what you don't the place. Excuse me? Well, it's like the tiki shop, like at this tiki shop or whatever. Oh, you're one of those. One of who? The people who always assume everything should be defined from their perspective. No, I just like the tiki shop. Sure, let's well, disregard that maybe it's just the shop to you and that. I would probably receive the one from your world's the arcane shop or whatever. After all, I'm the one visiting here, right? I bet you reply with the name of your town and when people take turns saying which country they come from. Anyway, welcome to Sean. Glad pleased your egocentric eye. Oh, I just attuned your scroll to the tropics. You should be able to see the time just now. Anything? So, who can I leave? Oh, yeah. Enjoy the tropics and try not to harm the little voodkin too much. They're not evil. I'm liking the place so far. Well, there's really something unique. What's wrong? Look, I accepted a long time ago that our conversations wouldn't be the most engaging, but talking about the weather is where I draw the line. <laughs> Any stories to share? Of course I do. Does this area look like it's part of a tacked on wannabe Metroidvania to you? Which story will it be? Yeah, I can tell you about the evil genie who would always corrupt order's wishes. So that the one asking to fly can never land, and the one asking to know everything can never talk or write. Sure, that sounds interesting. Or maybe I could tell you about the little boy who always wanted to be a warrior, and became a sword swallower after hearing that we are what we eat. What? Oh, I know. Here's one for you. There once was a family of innkeepers operating their business in a world devoid of physical boundaries. Indeed, the establishment had an endless amount of room space. The business was so oh, good, each and every one of them was occupied. Still, new customers would keep coming in, and given a room right away. Wait, how can someone run a room if there's no vacancy? Unprecedented, right? You see, living in a boundless world comes with a few perks. Thus, even though all the rooms were occupied, the possibilities with them were as endless as the corridor they belonged to. So the new customer would always get room number one, and then have to ask the customer that was already there to move to room number two, who would then ask the other customer to do the same for room number three, and so on forever. It might take a few moments to wrap your head around this, but given the endless amount of rooms, there would always be a next room to go to and ask the customer there to move over to the next one. And while it was certainly bound to cause discomfort to an unfathomable amount of people, the fact still remained that every new customer would get a room even though there was no vacancy. That's sort of neat? Sort of, yeah. It's being of neat. One can still imagine the housekeeper costs, so the innkeeper family eventually determined that there need to be some sort of boundaries. If they're in to be manageable, the number of rooms had to be finite. They called this concept infinity. Eventually, the passage of time blurred this story as, as it does all things, it changing the word spelling to infinity and inverting its meaning. The end. Really? Really what? I can't believe this. You dragged me through all of that just for a stupid pun at the end. You know what? I can't believe. After all these stories, you still won't think past the surface. Or do you simply not care that I just managed to teach you how it's actually possible to do infinity plus one by conceptualizing it ensembles with the properties capable of a perpetual movement in a way a five-year-old could understand? Not so. What do you want? You're mean to me. No. <gasps> you guys friendly? I'm not. Oh. 
Clary seems sad now. Most of one of these enemies are just a reskin. I don't know if I'll go through all this. I mean, I guess I'll start right now, but... I don't know if I'll be doing every single bit of this. Heck, I didn't even know. Wait! Ah! Oh, we're good. Hey! Just keep moving. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. That's what I was saying, what? Hey, Jake! Bad but sort of entertained by attacking them. Uh, what the hell? That's weird. Oh. So stormy in the you just so sad. Where's my cheerful vibes? I guess I can go back to what I was saying much earlier. Whoa. How, uh, next game I do want to try flying through. If I want it, I'm going to figure out if I got fixed or not earlier. Or, from a while ago. But I want to play through Yakuza. I want to play through the Yakuza games. I feel like those would be pretty fun. Look at it go! Hold on, can I get the star guy to do it? Yes! Infinite energy. Okay, I'm bored. <gasps> There's a sink! Is that a sink? Yeah, obviously. Why would an arcane shop have a sink? Because it has magic properties, of course. Behold, the money sink! The money sink? Yeah, I don't know. People can't complain about their wear anyway. Spend time shorts once you have all the upgrades and now we need to fix this with the money sink. So we quite literally did that. Okay, how's it work? At the moment, it doesn't. Venture suit to make time shorts since it's a drain and now it's clogged. Is there any way to unclog it? Not really. Well, maybe you got a money wrench. Money wrench? How can I find one? I'm not looking for it. Thanks, genius. <laughs> what? got down here again I don't know if I'm gonna go for 100% this we'll see the thing that worries me about potentially trying to do 100% of this is that I think I have to get um whatchamacallit the uh shoot what's the name I think I have to get the uh I'm drawing a blank here. 
Man, it is on the tip of my tongue, but it is infuriatingly forgettable for some reason, the word. What was I even talking about? Hold on. Uh, we'll see if I get 100%. I don't know. What was I, say what was I saying? What? There's no end to that statement. That, I completely lost track of my thoughts. Okay. What's this? It's Fred? I don't know. Hey, look at you. You found an op optional item. What is it? A masterpiece. I think it goes along with the food of better. So you can find, a, you can find the open sea serving area. Will something cool happen if I collect all the feathers and masterpieces? Well, it will certainly yield more than asking rhetorical questions. Look out there. All right, we're gonna look this up. Is it, I'm just gonna check. Is it? Uh, I just want to know if it's uh, an ending, like a secret area ending. So it seems like what it mostly does is it creates a new uh, NPC, but more importantly, it does something to New Game Plus, give, giving basically like a all or nothing type run, it seems like, where it's like you get like extreme hit, like extreme damage or whatever, but at the same time, like, it's also like, it's basically one, you die, you're done, like there's no coming back. Seems cool, but I don't know if I'll go for a hundred percent if that's all it is. Especially considering that would require me to have to, uh, well, do the surfing thing again, which I'm not exactly in the mood to do. Owie. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'll take it. Still up. I think it's cool reward. I just don't think I'm gonna go for it. At the very least, I don't think it's a useless reward. Alright, back to this. Ooh. I do wonder if they're going to make another game where it, where it like continues the lore of uh, this game in Sea of Stars. The only thing I can think of that might be like, again, the only other thing I can think of that might be able to be talked about more with this lore is more so like a the world eater at the end of Sea of Stars. It never was fully explained. I feel that thing. It kind of just appeared. But what is it? We at least, I, I at least now know Sea of Stars are basically confirmed what happened to uh, the St Weller Strife, the four followers, four acolytes, I should say, and Brugues. But, you know, another thing, actually, I'm surprised that, considering it's shown all of that stuff, I'm surprised that it has it that they, uh, that one thing that I haven't seen was, at least on Dryel, or whatever her name was, uh, Erlina. At the end of Sea of Stars, in the credits, you did see, uh, Erlina's, like, new form meeting with, uh, meeting with, uh, Bruges' new form. I do wonder if that means, like, there's, uh, maybe they, like, supposedly have some memories of each other still. Or something like that.
Yeah, I just wonder if they're gonna continue. I, I mean, I guess part of me kind of wants them to continue it, but that's mostly because I just want to see more. I just want to see more games made by uh, Sabotage, honestly. So far, both games I've played by them have been fantastic. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on them. That from now on, though, I want to see more. I do wonder if they've already got like a another big project planned or something. What other things to talk about, I guess? Uh, anything other interesting games I'm gonna play through in the future? Well, actually, there are a lot of other interesting games I want to play through in the future. Uh, I think a key one being uh, some of the key ones. Uh, I definitely think I want to play through uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake. Do you think I want to try playing through that eventually? The part two. I already did part one, obviously. But I want to see if I can maybe play once uh, part two comes out, because it's coming out next year, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. There's another game that was also coming out next year that I cannot for the life of me remember at the moment the name of. Room. There's also Persona 3. I hmm. Part of me wants to play through Persona games, but those would be a long undertaking, I feel. Not opposed to it, but it would be a lot of commitment. Uh, gotta fix this. Ah, I see. It's one of these. I see a problem. I'm just not good at mastering these types. Ugh. I'm just gonna keep alternating, eventually it'll work right, right. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. We got something here. Come with me, little buddy. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. All right. It is interesting feeling how I feel like a, a, a lot, some of these puzzles get broken when you uh, when you use the uh, this different shuriken type. I mean, it feels like a good reward for me, honestly. I mean, I feel... Why not? Good reward for, uh... Getting all the items. Just a cheap way of beating all the puzzles. Oh, never mind! I regret saying that! Yeah, I agree, Quarble. Still an easy way of exiting the puzzles, though. I'm alive. That guy has an anvil. I don't like this. Rubes, I see you. That's not.
Ah. Boss time. Nope, no talks. Probably title this uh, the way that I'm going to want it be titled, which is finale. Uh, what are we doing? Oh yeah. How is it that I instantly forget? Uh, just gonna fix that up. Alright, I pull this and this. Alright. Alright, Brugave, are you coming to fight me or are we doing something different? Who wants to fight me? Oh, hi. Uh, oh boy. Sentient totem. Oh dearie. Hey. That's actually empty. Okay, we're getting serious. We are getting real serious now. everything. Don't like this. Don't like this. Uh, it is killing me. Round two, buddy. Come on. Uh. Chosen better. Ah. Come on, send it as far as ah. we got a problem. This one's difficult because it's area denial, basically. Did I really just let myself get hit that early? Nice job, me.
drill. Do I drill somewhere? Drill back here. until I go somewhere, is he? Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, he is. Ah. I'm scared. I should be. This is a tough one. All right, well, once more. Just normally, you don't have to attack them. Got hit by that. It's impossible to dodge that, feels like. Maybe I'm just bad. That's probably also. Wait! <laughs> that up in my brain. The, the game wants me to grapple there, but I don't... That doesn't... Oy, oy, oy. Day another tent. I just don't appreciate how easy it is to get yourself hit. Like that. And that. There's a just a smidge on the cheap side considering it can deal double damage. Oh god, imagine you didn't have the upgrades that made it so that damage wasn't the way it was here. Okay, that's less space destroyed.
Hang on. Save your life a hundred times already. Congratulations. What do you want, metal? Well, that's too damn bad. All right, for real this time. I mean, it was real the all the other yard times, but for real, real this time. I don't know how I managed to hang on to that, but that was cool. We're getting crazy. You are actually kidding me. Really? What was that? When I'm that close to death, you're gonna throw in something new. Cool, that's the cool, that's all right. and steam as well as a lot of patience
careful. It's going to do the stupid trick where it fakes you out. Gotcha! Oh, yeah, yeah. You! What are you doing? Like, thanks for showing my totem. Well, you attacked first. What are you talking about? I was doing a ritual to prevent the volcano from activating. You random, you just randomly engaged. No way. Wait. No way. You know what? Fair enough. I see how you could have thought I was a threat. I guess my survival instincts kicked in a little too fast. I understand. It's all good. So does this mean the volcano will activate? With the demon journal bar from from Athazel, little playing. Hang on, using it to conjure up some voodoo ritual, we bear, we all bear hope not. Look, I'm sorry I destroyed your totem, okay? Don't worry about it. I mean it, I'm sorry. It's alright, honest mistake. So, how do I get out of here? I'll just adjust the win for you, follow me. Same as before. You can leave using the wind tunnel again, I don't mind our misunderstanding. See you, buddy! <laughs> what in the world? Fire Mountain? Okay. Oh, Lord, it's big. Oh, let's get climbing. Excuse you. You attack me, I attack you. I only fair. Hey, buddy. Anything? Fire Mountain, huh? Time for a sunset hike. Fire Mountain? Why isn't it just called Volcano? I'm not sure. Apparently some kid named this one. Look, as long as you take the climb, you can call it whatever you want. Any stories? Of course. Here's one for you. Once was a couple of farmers who inherited a very peculiar patch of land. Indeed, once every harvest season, season they, they would grow a gigantic crystal pumpkin. After a few years of living a very wealthy life by dominating the crystal market with fruit, the farmers were taken over by greed. Surprising that the pumpkin patch had to be laying over a crystal mine of some sort, they dug up all the plants and shoveled dirt while fantasizing about what they would do with all their riches. Unfortunately, as it quickly down dawned on them, there was no rare mineral cash to be found. One the one thing they did find, however, was that in destroying their pumpkin patch, they had forfeited all future chances of getting their yearly giant crystal fruit or eel. They lived unhappily ever after, wishing they had taken good care of their plants instead of letting their greed ruin everything. The moral of the story is that one should be grateful for what they have and be mindful not to lose it all by always wanting more. The end. It's not just the same as the goose let that laid the golden eggs. Yes. Still my whole portrait and poultry murder bit. There are two things you can take away from this. First, then by pulling this out, you just got a perfectly enjoyable story of its ability to enchant you. You ripped its core open and broke it, rendering it worthless, exactly the way a greedy crystal pumpkin farmer would. And second, I bet you thought pumpkins were vegetables. <laughs> what? I mean, they're gourds, right? I don't know exactly what you would classify that as, but... I think that- wait, that is we that's weird, seeing a uh, walking into like a door spray, I feel. That- well, how the heck did I see that? My man, no! My man jumped off the cliff. 
interesting how so many of these beha uh, enemy behaviors are just the basic ones, but updated. Like the chasing guys now chase you, the throwing guys now have their projectile split. I mean, it's a nice way of making them stronger, I guess. Hey. Okay. Go away. Why are you guys trying to kill me? I'm trying to save your mountain. Upwards and onwards. Get me out of here. again. I was that close to a freaking save point. I, um. Still not even halfway, it looks like. Yeah. I... My goodness.
Help me! Ugh. I don't even know if this is the right way to go. I think it is. I'm assuming it is. Uh, there's lava there. What? Well, I guess this is a volcano. Whatever. Whatever. Jewel of you, messenger. So it really is you. I thought you died during the explosion in the underworld. <laughs> you think that's all it would take to get rid of me? I told you once this... Once you, you son of a scribe, I'm the fastest there's ever been. Release the Falkins now and be gone, demon, or I'll defeat you again. Oh, I wouldn't drag you all the way out here just to lose another duel. See this magic seed? It is almost done absorbing voodoo energy. And when it's ready, you will see who has the last laugh. Huh. Voodoo energy? In this land, fear can be converted. And when it comes to fear, these little guys are an endless supply. In order to fully charge the magic seed, I need to scare them good. To that effect, I should thank you for stepping right into my trap. And my trap. I mean Voodoo Altar. Now don't move, messenger. It's not like you could anyway. <laughs> ah, help! Help me! Ah. What the? Huh? At last, the Dark Messenger is born. The Heart of Fire Mountain awaits you too. Where I place voodoo idols with the perfect enchantment to damage greed demons. Get to enough idols first, and the and Dark Corbel will be defeated. Then you will use, lose your own protector, leaving you completely exposed for the Dark Messenger to take your life. So let us see how you fare in a race against yourself, ninja. Won't get away with this. Look on the bright side. You won't have to see what happens to the Folkins next. I like this at all. Oh, you save us. Enough of your complaining. Now, how does the saying go? Oh, yeah. Godspeed, messenger. <laughs> okay, not cool. Hey, why didn't you show up earlier? I'm not talking to Pirate Face ever again. Huh? Look, can we just prevent this? I'd rather not die. Fair enough. Quick, let's go. Apologies, I got a call. All right, collect enough idols. Kill the dark messenger. What? That outfit must be from the clan that taught me how to clap step. This probably means Quillbill. Hey, monk. I think I found another clue related to the cultists. Primal fear can wait. I think we're at one of the branching points mentioned by the prophet. Oh, with that Corbel guy? Yes, it all makes sense now. Please look after them. Right away! Oh great, a race of some kind? I'm not okay with that. Get over here! Crap! How's this fair?
Got it. Got it. Oh, that's some bull. How was I supposed to know that? Yeah, yeah, whatever. What? Uh oh, I was about to say. That actually makes it so that I have to redo all this. I'm getting angry. Why is this so much harder all of a sudden? Great, so that just... It's unrealistic how fast he sometimes is able to go. Oh, wait, I... Actually, I'm going to die so I can have my health back. Suck my ass. Screw you!
Come here. Nowhere to run now. Am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do here? I'm not sure what's going on, but I strongly suggest you give it your best shot. Give your best shot to this race against your evil twin. Do you have any stories to share? I do, but you should really get back to chasing the Dark Master here. Tell you a good one after you save the day. Fair enough. Sorry, buddy. And so the messenger wins the race. It's over, demon. Your plan has failed. Release the hostages now. No, no, let's not be hasty. You merely played into my hand once again, Ninja. For the Dark Messenger's full potential to be unleashed, it first needs to be untethered from its greed demon. Oh, how I've been waiting for this moment. Now, my Dark Messenger, I recommend it's time for us to do the thing. Uh-oh. What are you... Uh-oh. Not good. Uh... Oh boy. Oh, I knew it. Uh oh, this is actually pretty bad. I'll be right back. I get all that. But even if the scroll had some of in copies of that, and uh, two, that doesn't mean they should be able to. Whoa, whoa. Oh, if you the shopkeeper. Okay, that's not going to do it all. Well, surely if we do the thing, we can defeat it. Oh, without a doubt, it's just the hat on this guy. Why don't we do the thing, then? Listen, I'm all for fighting bulky bosses, but fashion statements are something I take very seriously. One moment, please. All right, it's showtime. Do the thing. There's not enough room on this screen for the two of us. <laughs> Oh gosh, is it? It is! It's freaking punch out! Come on. Yeah. Oh, and I can mash to get health back. Yep. Come on, round two. Come on, buddy. Put those face up. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Stay up. Yo. 
Give up? It, it worked! <laughs> the voodoo energy is finally loose and ready to be absorbed. What is he on about? Didn't we just knock this guy out? Behold, as the magic seed ripens before our very eyes. Eh? Oh, I want to see you like that. I can deal with whatever you have to throw at me, demon. Oh, you won this round, messenger. But I will return. <laughs> oh, let's take care of that. Oh, I can't wait to see what he does to the seed. What should we do in the meantime? Ahem. Could you maybe get us out of here? It's about time we have a picnic. Mm -hmm. They're starving. Yeah, let's all go on the picnic. Yay. Thank you for joining us at the picnic. Well, thanks for the invite. This is amazing. You don't need, need to measure anything. And you're gonna use me. From the bottom of my shoes to the tip of this tape, I measure exactly 112 centimeters. So you're gonna have to leave soon. Vuk and I have so much fun. My adventure. We only organized this picnic because we wanted permission to drink our little juice boxes. It's only worth it in the end. That's why we're so sick. We should do a thing again sometime. So, you said you would tell me a story after everything was resolved. Oh, yeah, I suppose I did. Do you want to hear a story then? Uh. Alright, here's one for you. It's a story about a story. Or, more precisely, about a friend of mine's relation to it. Here we go! There once was a little girl who had a favorite fairy tale. She couldn't get enough of it. Every week she wanted to hear it again. Much like the dysfunctional patterns we recreate in our lives, and if our ever was hoping that by listening to the same story endlessly, its ending would eventually change. Because you see, she only truly liked the first half of that fairy tale. It went something like this. Once upon a time, there lived a monstrous beast in the castle who kept the farmer prisoner in his dungeon. One day, the farmer's daughter went to the beast's castle, castle to offer him herself as a prisoner in exchange for her father's freedom. The farmer being quite a selfless dad, and the beast quite an unre a reasonable bully, everyone instantly agreed. At first, very scared and put off by the beast's appearance, she quickly learned to look past the surface and became quite fond of him. Far from being a blamely romanticized case of Stockholm Syndrome, her feelings toward him grew into genuine love. The beast, as it soon turned out, was actually a beautiful prince who had had the misfortune of being turned into a monster by an evil witch. A spell which could only be broken by receiving a kiss from his true love. The power of this relationship helped him reconnect with the good within him, and his past as a captor was never revisited or brought into question after he became the farmer's son-in-law. They all live happily ever after. Yeah. Yeah, everyone knows that one. Of course, but remember, it's about my friend. She didn't like the story so much past a certain point. What do you think that is? Maybe she thinks beasts are cooler than humans? That's a fair guess. All she told me is that she didn't like the prince's voice anymore for once he was returned to his human form. But she's a clever one. I can't shake the feeling that part of her thought it didn't really make sense that someone who had the depth and maturity to look past the surface would receive a reward, reward as superfluous as good looks. Or maybe that's where the whole deal becomes awfully suspicious. If you think about it, there's always something sketchy about apparent perfection. Maybe the appearance of a beast showcasing hideousness so, hideousness so openly at least offers the security of letting you know what you're in for. Treat so evident and so repulsive, it can only be uphill from there for the one who could take a closer look. Whereas with a perfect front, all that is left is to slowly deconstruct this perfection by noticing flaws. It is a rare and valuable thing for people to look past the surface, so why would it make sense to offer them something shallow and material in response? I find it to also convey a very important message. A message you need to pay close attention to notice, but which is nevertheless, nonetheless written everywhere. Between the lines, contrast carries beauty. The colorful sure of the introvert. Back of watermelon bubblegum in the old lady's purse. The melodic background harmonies of the death metal song. The cute earrings of the stone-faced. The smell of dust kicking up when sun rain combines with the bright sun on a hot summer day. While others may benefit from paying attention to more stories, some people perceive these things instinctively. Seeing how curious and captivated you are, I'd rather you belong to the second group. 
when it comes to my friend, sometimes I like to think that to her, a better title for this fairy tale would have been the beauty in the beast. I'm not sure what to make of all this. I don't overthink it. It's just my special way of saying the to that little girl. Hopefully she enjoyed this more than if I had sung her happy birthday to her. And as to you, messenger, I hope that in the end you won't think your adventure would have been better without a bonus tropical side quest. Anyway, vacation's over. I should go back, back now. See you on the A-side. Okay. This party is a battle. I'll need to get back to my lap soon. Let me know when you're ready. Are you Vulcan Island? Yeah. Panic. So I guess that now will be the end. Unless I die during the freaking credits. <laughs> Can you die during the credits? <laughs> I don't. Do I want to know that answer? I don't know if I want to know that answer, to be honest with you. It does seem like it's just giving me a bunch of time charge for free. That being said, these are useless. Uh, unless I opened up the time sink, but. Mm. Oh well. Meanwhile, atop the Searing Crags... Oh? You know, it's kind of crazy, Cole. The new diet made me so flexible. I see, Sisters. Today we rely on brute strength alone for all this time. You should train more assiduously, Sisters. I com agree completely, Cole. Oh! The dance here, Cyclopses. Are you waiting for someone, Sisters? I had no idea he was under that clock, Coles. Send your business, Wanderer! Pardon the intrusion. I was looking for experienced botanists. And rumor has it that you two are the best this island has to offer. Yo, this guy's correct, Coles. Let's see what he wants, Zeus. Let's do you, Wanderer. You see, that comes a across a very rare magic seed. Which, given proper care, is bound to grow into a beautiful plant. Huh? What do you reckon, Coles? We gotta see that seed, Seuss. You have our attention, Wanderer. Show us. With pleasure. Here. And do I have to get some vegetable give herbs that can be used for cooking? You're so playing the seed, Seuss. Kill barnacles. What could go wrong? Say no more, Wanderer. You'll grow the magic seed. Not good. Uh oh. Something really bad's happened. Well, how's fun? Yeah, must admit, I'll mi must admit I'll miss the beach. So, yeah. Will the event will adventure continue sometime later? That's not up to me. Feel free to replay Picnic Pack as many times as you want, though. I wonder if that means, like, there are other DLC stuff to this game. Uh, if there is, maybe I'll consider- Wait, is that an altar I saw at the top of Fire Mountain? It is. I thought it'd be a cool addition to my shop. What happened to the caged monsters thing? It was useless, so I got rid of it. But now I'm just using the altar to store any voodoo feathers and mass pieces you find. The magic within the altar tells me you have yet to find one more feathers and nine mass pieces. Tell you what, we'll do one more thing. We'll go check out Susus and Cola's and see if anything's happened to them now. Just on the off chance that something's happened. You know? There's a chance something could have happened to them, and if so, I'm gonna have to go check it out. Shouldn't take too long anyways. It could be more DLC stuff though, because I I mean I didn't I didn't check a much about the paid DLC stuff, but who knows, maybe I'll play the paid DLC stuff probably. If I do, then I'm probably gonna have to, well, uh, I'm gonna have to check out the stream. I might not title this finale. Ah, well, I don't know. We'll see. I probably messed up by saying this is finale, because maybe it's not. Hmm. 
Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, though. Doesn't seem like it. I'll check afterwards, but anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see y'all later. Peace!